Hey, good afternoon. It is me, Trina, here at Life Care Unite Foundation. Here we are on June 14th, cooking up some delicious meatloaf and mashed potatoes for the community. I hope that you'll be able to join us. It's going to be 3.30 to 5 that we're handing out the meals. They'll be wrapped and packed to go. You don't need to register. You just need to come. Knock on the door. Tell us, hey, told me there was food here. And we're going to go, yep, sure is. You take a meal and be blessed. We want people who need food to get food. And we have made this with kindness, mindfulness, and love. So I really, really want y'all to be able to come out here and get a meal today. So I'm going to turn the camera around because the chef, he has some pictures to show you. Okay, so this is one of the pans of meatloaf. Um, we have six pans, I believe. There's going to be a hundred meals. Uh, so we really want y'all to come and, and get something today. And then um, let me just sashay over here. This is the potatoes that are done. So what we did is because, you know, it's really hard to process dairy for a lot of people we didn't put any dairy in these potatoes we used chicken broth and we used uh the country cock crock uh like you know vegetable spread instead of like butter um we also oh. put in some uh garlic and also some uh onion too we wanted to be as flavorful as possible for y'all um so we really want y'all to come and get this delicious food um, let me go and bring the camera over again. Now, we understand that there's a lot of children on this complex that we're at, at the Arbors at McCormick Park. So, um, what we've done is we've made some Kool-Aid and we have some bags of chips for them. Uh, it's just some Frito-Lay baked chips and some Kool-Aid. Um, now... We're not going to make Kool-Aid to where it's all diabetes. <laughs> so it's mildly sweet and it's chilling in the cooler. I just can't get to it. I don't want other things to like fall out. But we do have some Kool-Aid and chips for the younger children who are just not going to be into eating meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Um, so we're going to go over here to the kitchen real quick. And you can see um, my son, the upcoming uh, chef. He's getting things what? together. Yeah, we good. Okay, so what he's doing now. Say hi, Scott. Hello. What you doing? Um, I'm making sure this is flat enough on the bottom so it cooks evenly. Ah, okay. And uh, what is in the Milo? Oh, there's spinach, there's crackers, there's garlic. Right. Yep. Um, black pepper, salt. Yeah, black pepper, salt, eggs, eggs seasoning, and uh, bouillon. Yes, the bouillon is a beef base, but it's gluten free. Uh, we're trying to be mindful that you know a good meal should not make your stomach hurt. <laughs> and then over here in this pot is the second batch of potatoes that's boiling right now. Yep. Yeah, uh, friend, friend made Yes, Asia and some other volunteers, they went ahead and get, got this pot started. They're the ones that did the original pot. So we used yellow potatoes um, because we didn't want to use russet. That was a lot of peeling, but also, you know, you want to enjoy potatoes without, like, all the roughage. So these break down a bit more, and it's a lot easier to digest. Uh, so we'll be mixing them up again with the chicken broth. Oh, if you hear that message sound, that's just people trying to call in and make appointments for our release shop. Okay, so we're cleaning up dishes. We've got about five young people who have gone out into the local community to pass out flyers to let people know who we are and what we're doing. We don't want anyone to miss out. So if you want to get a meal today... Again, it is 3.30 to 5. We're handing out the meals here at the Arbors at McCormick Park in their family center. The address is 622 23rd Street South in Fargo. 
Now, if you go to 618 23rd Street South, you'll be going to the rental office. And if your GPS takes you there and you're like, hey, I heard there was food, they'll be able to direct you to the building if you can't find it. I know we're a little tucked away and it's hard to see us. I'm sorry about that. But we're just doing the best we can with the space that we've got. I want you to tell everyone you can. Um, I do want people to know that on the last three days of this month, oh my goodness, we have got a doozy of a meal plan ready for the community. We're talking stir fry. We're talking rice jambalaya. It's going to be good with a tea. <laughs> If you have any questions about our programs, or maybe you want to volunteer or bless us with donations for our meal program, please go ahead and call or text 701-318-7836. Now, if you're, you know, kind of in between phones and you're using a Wi-Fi number, We've got you. If you want to reach us and you can only reach us through Wi-Fi, please use 701 566 9221. You can call or text that number as well. We just want people to get the things they need without all the red tape of the who, what, why, where. When you come here, we're not going to force any religion on you. We are just going to give you some food and be like, take it, eat it, please enjoy it. And join us on the last three days of this month for some spectacular deliciousness made with kindness and love and mindfulness. I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I've got more trays that I have to label. But it's been great talking to y'all. I hope you spread the word about what we're doing. And if you just come by today because you have questions, we're here until 5 o'clock. All right. Y'all have a great one.